I think it's it's so effective and that it is dramatically more effective than any other program I'm aware of uh, in, in areas like depression, anxiety, addictions, uh, marital resolutions, etc. It is so effective because what we teach is total ownership. But what we teach is that I'm making this whole thing up. And once the client accepts that as a possibility, I am making this up. I am the author of this experience. Uh, in Buddhism it's rephrased somewhat differently. I am the author of this dream. This is a dream. I am the author of this dream. Once that is accepted as a possibility, then the next step of that authorship is to dream a different dream. I'm not in the dream. I am the dreamer, but I'm not in the dream. And the biggest shift we can make is to take oneself consciously out of the dream, saying, I'm dreaming this, but it, I am not the dream. So I don't identify with the dream. So if I don't identify with my depression, then I can choose a different experience. That's the key. So the key is really to take ownership and not to believe in the diagnosis. We've had people here with the most horrendous diagnoses and the most uh, where their psychiatrists or their prescribing me medical professionals said there's no hope for you. We had one young woman here, it was unbelievable. She was 22, deeply depressed, on suicide watch, had gone to see her psychiatrist and her psychiatrist has told her, believe it or not, just get used to it, you'll never be happy. Mm. Now if she believed that, where do you think she'd be? But fortunately, somehow told her about us, she came to see me in Vancouver when I was there, and two days later she was in Costa Rica, three days later she was over it. Because she recognized it was a choice, it was absolutely untrue. A diagnosis is a horrendous thing because people start behaving as if that is who they are. It's not who you are. I'm not an alcoholic, I'm not a drug addict, I'm not depressed, I'm not bipolar, I don't have chronic anxiety. Those are the symptoms that I am um, bringing into my life to say there's something wrong with my belief system. There's something wrong with who I think I am. And it's demonstrating, it's manifesting as depression, it's manifesting as being broke, it's manifesting as not uh, having loving relationships. Yeah, that's true. But that's not who I am. Who I am has not changed. Who I am is just waiting. Who I am, I always compare it to a loving GPS. Well, if you drive with a GPS, and then when we go to Europe and do workshops there, we always use the GPS because otherwise we'd be lost and it saves our relationship. A GPS will tell you lovingly and the next, uh, at the next turn make a right. If I don't do that, it doesn't say, you stupid jerk, I told you to make a right, now you're on your own, which is how the ego works. The GPS would simply say, at the next turn, make a right. I can ignore it again. It will say, at the next turn, make a right. Now, in most people's cases, I would say 99% of the people that come here, they're not even aware of the fact that they have a GPS. They're completely and totally reliant on their other steering system, which is the ego. And the ego is the belief that there's something wrong with me. The ego is to believe that I'm separate. The ego is to believe that I'm not lovable. The ego is to believe that I'm depressed. The ego is to believe that, I, that I'm, I've never had enough. The ego is to believe that uh, life is hard. That's one that is so common. Life is hard. Where did you pick that up? Where did you learn to believe that life is hard? Oh, what it is. Look at my life. Yeah. I can see your life is hard. Well, why do you think that is? Because you believe it. You believe your life is hard. Change your belief. Start looking at what you have in your life. Start looking at all the wonderful things you have in your life. Start doing a gratitude every night before you go to bed. Do 10 things you're grateful for. See how you sleep. So with Choose Again, we have developed a range of uh, methodologies and processes that help me completely transform my, uh, my being at the deepest level and to reconnect to the truth of who I am. In other words, to shift gradually, lovingly from a completely ego-based existence <clears throat> to an existence of knowing who I am and 
coming from a place of deep confidence and trust that whatever is happening is for me. How is this happening? How is this for me? How can I see this as being for me? That's the key. But I can't get there if I don't train my mind.